Hey guys, Excalibur here. Um, so if you've played Activision's previous kids game title, Kung Fu Panda, you'll know that it really needs a really good PC spec just to run smoothly. So now for Madagascar Escape to Africa, they really pushed it this time. And I'm gonna show you why. I've read the README file, it says uh, it doesn't support motherboard integrated chipsets. And uh, mine's an ATI Radeon Express 200, so it's a motherboard integrated chipset. And there are a lot of lot of lot of glitches in the game. Now I'm gonna show you. As you can see, um, there's a lot of problems here caused by the graphics card missing animations. You can see Alex's pose is really in the not not in the really good state whatever you call it um, yeah sometimes the models keep disappearing for no fucking reason and um, yeah it's pre pre that it's that crappy on this crappy graphics card and if I pause the game there are uh, a lot of text missing especially on the first option you see on the left there's no text for it yeah it sucks see you can't even see Gloria there because she keeps disappearing and I can't see her this way and everything else is just crappy I can't really see shit see see I didn't know there was water in here because they didn't really show it this is just how much the graphics card suck so uh, my point is for all of you people out there want to get this game just make sure you have a really decent graphics card and a gaming a gaming kind of course like uh, Radeon X1300 or better with at least 128 megabytes of graphics memory everything else that's motherboard integrated is not supported and this what this is what will happen if you play the game with those kind of graphics card well that's about it see you guys later oh and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you wanna see more I, I usually do videos often but not really that often I have a lot of school work to do so uh, see you guys later <laughs>